everyone and welcome back to Tasmania TV and another DIY or die video. Today I am taking this pair of basic grey jeans and giving them a punk makeover using patches, safety pins, bleach and distressing. I really wanted the jeans to be covered in bleach stains but because these jeans are extremely stretchy the bleach didn't work as I had hoped. Bleach works great on non-stretchy jeans, but the higher the elasticity is, the less the bleach actually works. So all I got from spraying them with bleach was a very discreet lightning in a couple of spots. But no matter, we will save that bleach idea for a future DIY project. And instead, move on to the next step, which is making the homemade patches. I am using what is left of an old t-shirt to create the patches, and today I am doing them by using stencils, white fabric paint, and stippling sponges. I am also using a plate to pour the paint onto and keeping paper towels on standby so that I can easily wipe any leftover paint off of the stencil sheets in between the different letters so that I don't stain my fabric. Before I get started, I am protecting my workspace by placing a newspaper underneath the fabric. And then I am just going to start stippling the paint on, making sure to not use too much paint as it can flip in underneath the stencil sheets and blur the writing. For these jeans, I am making around 10 patches in total, some in text, and some are from this skull and bone stencil. This type of fabric paint is set by ironing, but make sure to follow the directions on the paint that you're using. In the past, I've made videos on other methods for creating your own patches, so if you want to see more patch making videos, have a look around my DIY videos here on YouTube. Once the patches are done, I am laying the jeans out on the floor to decide where I want to place the patches. I am doing half in the front and half in the back. And I know that some of you might be thinking, well, why isn't you just stippling the paint directly onto the jeans? Why use patches at all? Well, my friends, there are two reasons for that. Number one is because even a DIY dork like myself can mess up. And if I make an error on a scrap piece of fabric, well, I can just throw it out and make a new one. But if I make an error directly onto the jeans themselves, well, then they're pretty much ruined. The second reason is because I absolutely love the way patches look. For one, the black fabric on top of the gray creates a more interesting look than just writing directly onto the gray. And also, I love doing that clearly visible big white stitch, the Catwoman stitch as I call it, so the extra element of creating and sewing the patches on is a big plus for me, even though it's a lot more time consuming. If you only want the text and don't care about the patches, then go ahead and use the stencils and paint directly onto your garments. Just make sure to be very careful so that you don't mess up and ruin things. Once I have placed and pinned all the patches where I would like them, I am going to attach some of them using safety pins, but for the majority of them I am going to use that glorious Catwoman stitch, so hand sewing them on. It takes some time, but it's quite fun. When all the patches are in place, I am going to distress the jeans, and I am using three tools to do that. First, a long thin tray to protect the fabric so that I don't go through both layers at once. You can see from the scratches how well used this tray has been in my DIY projects. Secondly, I am using fabric scissors, and third, a fish scaler. It's a great tool for distressing clothes. I place the tray inside the jeans with the back upwards, and then cut using the scissors where I want larger holes, and then distress using the fish scaler where I want rips, tears, and smaller holes. I absolutely love doing this to my clothes. It's easy, fast, and so much fun. The final step before the jeans are done is adding some safety pins wherever I feel like they look good sometimes to hold some of those distressed areas together, and sometimes just for decoration. And voila! The jeans are done, and I love them! Thank you for watching this DIY video, and remember, do no harm, but take no shit. I'll see you next time!